the first time I'm so far away. <laughs> It was, it was at 5 in the morning, so yeah, there are a lot of people on the, air, on the airport and everyone will come and take us with his, his taxi. It was warm, but I like warm weather, so that was a good point for me. Also, I really like that a lot of food is vegetarian, because I'm a vegetarian too. Inch is the combination of two internet endings, .in for India, .ch for Switzerland. If you combine it, that's Inch. This program was conceived with uh, multiple dimensions in mind. That one, it's an international collaboration. And there's always give and take. There's always things to learn from each other. Whatever work they do, it is under this whole uh, concept that you don't have a choice. You have to have sustainability as a system now. And that's what the studios carries from one year to another. And we go to several destinations. In, uh, one is in Kerala, then in Namdabad, in Bombay and in Bangalore. That makes a very big difference. In the introductionary week in Kerala, there are most of the time only the Swiss students. And in Ahmedabad, the Indian students as well as other international students, they meet. The, for the first time, so most of the time in the beginning everything is great and works really well but yeah, as soon as you start working and you have to take some decisions, some kind of discussions might evolve. <laughs> but for example, Swiss students coming to India and not only architecture uh, but also learning from its culture, from its tradition, from its uh, resource base, uh, you know, looking at people who can live with frugal resource and yet be happy about. And at the same time, Indians could gather something from the international, that is the Swiss or the Spanish and likewise students, where they can also learn about the technological aspect, they can learn about certain systems, ways of doing things, they can learn from another dimension of bringing that in. Is that there are different kinds of communities and so for example you might find say say a particular community where they have agreed together and that they are going to that individual households will bring waste and give it to the uh, to the point but there will be other communities which will say that well I don't want to individually do it you know I want somebody somebody to run in my neighborhood and a, 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 tro a small small mini truck or something like that and uh, my uh, my house help will actually go and give it over there. Okay, so then when there are several actors involved in this chain <coughs> of movement who are not only limited to only rack pickers and the people who are making the waste. If they have to build even something small or design something small for the community, they have to know what they want and what they don't want. And at the end, if the people or the stakeholders say, yeah, this is not useful, then it's not successful. And they have been, I think, tremendously involved to the extent that they are almost like clients. Then they have to present to them how they are going to design, how it's going to help them and how they are going to actually execute it. So I think it's very intensive. This year the topic is urban subculture and everything around it, every lecture, every intervention is addressing a part of that issue. So then it's a holistic kind of a program. What means subculture in, in India has this to do also with theatre, with music or, or what is inside the building, what happens outside. Namaste.
what we want to create here is a interchange a space of the different people of the village and also join this part of the village with that part of the village. It expanded the as it was construct it was being constructed it, it expanded to this other uh, part. You see some material lying on the road. You pick it up and you improvise and and you make something very quickly. Now, after some time, I was a little surprised. We landed on waste also, people who are related to waste, because we are, our focus was to study French groups. There is this uh, slum which has ladies uh, that make bags out of waste. So they have these tetra packs and they make bags out of that. And our project is basically trying to intervene in a way in which we can help them sell their stuff a little bit or find a market within India. We are making a market stand for them where they can take it around and display their items, say, sometimes in an exhibition space, sometimes in a market, sometimes in a mall. It's a portable structure that they can probably take everywhere. Mm -hmm. yep. Waste is seen as garbage, which is, which is in our field all the time. But once you start using the waste and looking at how lots of lives depend upon the recycling sector. Urban farming is something which is going to be the need of the future because of land going. It's going to be something which uh, the Waste Garden Exhibition Centre is becoming a model for people to come and actually start understanding how to use waste to create gardening within their houses itself. Originally, originally you have boxes or crates, yeah. but I mean crates I don't think are very easily available. So I think we'll have to figure out another kind of a container. Uh -huh, okay. But it's like the two joists actually press the crates together and from that's where the, the creepers and all come out, come down from. I think the toughest part was finding these materials. So we, more than the work, we've been <laughs> roaming around more to get this because you know you think waste is easy to find, but it's not easy at all. We've gone begging at every door to say, you know, give us waste, give us waste. It's always a question about the time. How how big could it be at the end? And here, I think it's not enough time to realize the whole stuff for me. But I think it's okay. In India is the pressure from outside really big and I think that that's really nice that these people really they do what they um, think it's right and yeah, I have a big respect of these people. So. When we are in Mumbai they all say yeah but that was really uh, now I, how much did we work and but that was too much and maybe maybe it will be possible to to skip that task to skip that one yeah, you know yeah. just just because they're still there right but then coming back to to Switzerland they 
they really start to appreciate all, all the things they need. When I see the students grow during a studio, during the 16 weeks, and also after the studio, some of the students, they are friends now, and I see how they grow. That's absolutely excellent. And for me, that's 100% or more motivation to do that.